microscopic Milton is very small indeed. He lives in a clock on the mantelpiece in the parlour of a house that belongs to a lady named Mrs. Witherspoon. No one knows he's there, apart from Milton's friend Douglas, who spends most of his time asleep in front of the fire, and of course, you. One particular day, Milton had been polishing some of the cogs and things from inside the clock. He had carefully laid them out on the mantelpiece before cleaning them and was busy putting them back where they belonged. There, he said, when he'd finished. Now all I have to do is start the clock again. Milton pulled the pendulum back and let it swing, but nothing happened. The clock had stopped. Milton was sure that he'd remembered to wind it up that morning, but just to make sure, he wound it once more. Still nothing happened. Milton was quite concerned and went to tell his best friend, Douglas, what had happened. The two friends were wondering what to do when Mrs. Witherspoon walked into the room. That's strange, said Mrs. Witherspoon. The clock seems to have stopped and she picked it up and gave it a good shake. Come on, Douglas, she said. We will take it to the clock menders in the town. I'm sure Mr. Jenkins will be able to fix it. It's very clean in here, said Mr. Jenkins, as he looked inside the clock, apart from all these odd bits and pieces, but the real problem seems to be a missing French cock. That sounds serious, thought Milton, and indeed it was. Mr. Jenkins went on to explain that without a new thrange cog, he couldn't mend the clock and that these days they didn't make them anymore. Milton went outside to tell Douglas the bad news while Mrs. Witherspoon was choosing a brand new clock for her mantelpiece. I hope it isn't a cuckoo clock, thought Milton. I wouldn't like to share my home with a cuckoo. But unfortunately, it was. I suppose we'll get used to it, Douglas, Milton heard Mrs. Witherspoon say. But he had other ideas and began to loosen the boat that held the bird in place. Fourteen and a half minutes later. Goodness me, said Mrs. Witherspoon as she picked up the vase. I didn't realize that cuckoo clocks were so noisy and dangerous. Mrs. Witherspoon tipped the cuckoo out onto her hand, but something else also fell out. It was the missing cog. How on earth did that get there, she wondered. The following morning, Mrs. Witherspoon went straight down to see Mr. Jenkins to get the old clock mended. Milton was delighted to be back in his old home again, although it was badly in need of cleaning. Douglas settled down by the fire for a well-earned nap. Uh, Douglas? What do you suppose this is for? If it isn't broken, don't mend it, thought Douglas, and he fell quickly asleep. Oh,